All right, so here we are. We're up the stairway, coming in to the construction zone right now. Got the front porch. I'm keeping the buffet, which is really pretty. But then you still got Grandma's piano here. These are staying with the house. And this is where that little closet used to be, if you remember that. We're going to stick in... The TV's going to go on the other side of that, in the living room side, and then we'll use all the electronics back here so we can get into it real nice. And then Grandma's picture will go back and hang on that wall. And you're coming in the front door. We took out that the old door and stuff that's in the back porch right now. We'll probably use for a headboard. And then um, we have a French door that's going in that opening. It's eight feet tall, so that should look pretty neat. And then you get the light from that window upstairs. And you come in. We took all the plaster off of this wall and got it down to the brick. We haven't acid washed it or anything yet, so it's still in pretty rough shape. That should turn out really beautiful, I think. Of course, I got all sorts of chaos over here. So check out how small this nook is. I know we always thought it was big, but that's because it used to have a closet right there, and then you had the a little half wall was there, so it seemed deeper, but it's actually only looks like it's probably a foot or a foot and a half deep. Ceilings are nine feet. Check up. Nice. The boards upstairs are perfect. I think we should be able to refinish that floor with no problem. And we took out the wall into the living room. We. <laughs> Well, we did help, but Byron and those guys put in these headers. So now you've just got an open open room there. And then you can see the floors are all in rough shape, so they can't be refinished, so we'll have to put flooring over it. Hopefully get hardwood there. So here is the living room. And uh, it looks pretty open right now because there's not a darn thing in here, but just going to be putting pot lights up and stuff here to... And hopefully get a chandelier and stuff in this room. I got it studded out. Waiting for new windows to come in. Should be about a week or so. I think today is March 24th or 25th. This is where the piano room used to be. And the old bathroom. So this is all tore out. Back here we'll probably put the buffet. We took this back to the original brick. So that'll be real pretty. You would do the buffet over there and nice picture and stuff. And then we'll sheetrock the other walls because you have to get insulation in those heifers. This will be the doorway. If you're walking along. Want to make sure we had at least a 36 inch doorway back there. So right here, put the dining room table right there where that wood pile is. So we'll have a little formal area. And then we'll leave the other area we'll, over there. We'll have the little table over that way. Then, I'm not going to go through that way because there's a ladder. So you go into the kitchen area. This is 11 and a half by 11. It's down to the studs. We have to rewire everything and clean it up. Put a shorter window in here because the sink will go there. So we'll have it 35 inches from the floor there. So they've got a new one ordered for that. And... Uh, we'll probably have a little bit of a breakfast bar here on the end. Then you have your sink, fridge, dishwasher on that wall. And then here's the back wall. We got again we got that back down to the brick. Just gonna stick a wine rack in there, so that should look really pretty. And then uh we have the two little pillars from Grandpa Purcell's farm stick on both sides, and then there's a little ornate thing. I don't know where it is back here somewhere. Ah, Found it on the back porch. Cute little thing. Stick that over there. Just kind of make it a rustic looking thing. So the only bathroom downstairs will be back. This one, we got that all tore out the flooring, but the bathroom's in great shape. This is the back porch. I don't know what, how big this is. Probably 9 by 12 in that area. You got the back door. It goes out. We're going to make this the office have a roll out or a futon or something back here and then of course right in here you've got the washer dryer, bathroom, so that's the back room 
This would be from the other angle looking out at the where the dining area and then into the living room would be. I could have moved the ladder, but that'd be too easy. So really open. And of course, that basement. Da -na -na -na, where the boogeyman lives. 